Hi everyone and welcome to yet another Transformer review with me and my dad here. Hey. And for today's review we will be taking a look at this guy and this is Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Voyager Class Ultra Magnus, who is a repaint and slight retool yeah, a repaint and slight retool of the Transformers Prime Robots in the Skies Voyager Class Optimus Prime. I was taking a look at, at at the figure to see if it's a heavily remolded ver version of Optimus, but so it, this is Optimus Prime. Well, well, this is Ultra Magnus, who is a repaint and oh. slight retool of uh, Optimus Prime. Okay. So we will see y'all at the review station. And let's head over to the table and check him out. And, and check him out. So here we have Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. Voyager class Ultra Magnus in his truck mode. And, and y'all, I want to say that when we do the shoot and stuff like that, a lot of it is not scripted, so we just go by what happens. So we just print it. So some people are, are used to uh, of, of a more structural, but hey. You know, when we do this, it's it's shoot, and then we just run with it. So, <laughs> but hey, we have fun. So anyway, now my son's going to review Ultra Magnus. As you can see, he is, like I said in the in the beginning of the video, a repaint and slight retool of Transformers Prime Robots in the Skies Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Now, and that's a whole lot to say. Try to say that in one sentence real quick. I guarantee you, you're going to get tongue-tied. No, not the first edition one, but the Robots in the Skies version. And it, yes, th there are t two versions of of the Transformers Prime Voyager class, uh, Optimus Prime. One from the Robots in the Skies line, and one from the first edition line. Okay, so is this, this is the Beast Hunters edition? Yes. Robots in Disguise Beast Hunters edition? No. No, okay. just Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. Okay. Uh, shows you how much I know. Okay. Because this time, you know, now it starts losing me. I don't keep up with this style not like I know the G1 the G1 I got but this right here is where it goes into more adaptations of differences of, of Ultra Magnus besides this one there's a lot more so I have to ask my son which one is this so this way he can keep me straight because I know about G1 Ultra Magnus but this one here I don't know much about okay that's it Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I'll quit cutting in. 
So for the remolding that they did here, now I I do not own the Robots in the Skies, uh, Optimus Prime, the Voyager Class one, but I know this is a remold of it. So I'm going to try my best to see which one has been remolded and which one's not. Now looking at this, and I do not have a pointer. Normally I have a pointer, but I am going to use this little toothpick right here. That is an Autobot symbol. It's vague, it's blue, but it's there. Yes, that is. Yes. That's pretty small, and that's pretty detailed to be such a small logo. Small decal. Hmm. Okay, I, I thought I saw that's what I saw. But but for the remoldings that, that I see on this version is I can see that 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 the the, the smokestacks that were on here are now been removed. But in the promotional images of, of this figure, they had the smokestacks on him in field commode. But for the final release of the figure, which is here, they're not there. He's smokestackless. Okay. And I do see that, that that these are new things here that he has on the back. And I'm well. I, I think I know the the Optimus Prime version does not have these on the back. And the, these things here, I, I don't know if Optimus had these things here with these ports here on the sides, <clears throat> but, but, but if he does have these on the sides, let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, because we don't have the Optimus. We only have the Ultra Magnus to uh, compare it with. And I'm going strictly by what he, my son knows. I don't know much about this. I guess all in all, he looks pretty good in truck mode. The only thing that I don't like, I'm going to use this right here as a pointer. I don't like this. These things. No, no, I, j I, I don't like this whole back kibble. I don't like this section right here. I don't like. I wish that that could have been done something with. What, like tucked in? Yes, to like the truck. tucked in, kind of <clears throat> a different way. If they just folded down, I think that that would be even a more neater look instead of just kind of hanging out. That's my opinion. I I think I also don't, don't like these things, which are just j j jutting out on the back. Cause I I also wish that these would tuck inside the, the, In, the inside truck. the yeah. I think it would make for a cleaner look. Now maybe they couldn't. I don't know until we get the actual transforming them. Then I could see why they left it like that. We'll have to see. And I I think the the rest of of the truck is.
basically an uh, Optimus Prime re repaint. I I'm gonna say it, it is. But it still does look cool. And it, it does have some r red paint on the front windows. Yellow painted in headlights here. Some silver paint on the sides here, as well as the front here. And some blue painted side windows here. Now, for this version of Ultra Magnus, he did not have a trailer, right? There's no trailer for him. No. He did not come with a trailer. Okay. On this version. Not, not even in the Transformers Prime cartoon. Okay. But, but he still does have this, like, trailer hitch that you can kind of attach a, a trailer on the back of him if you want to. And... Oh, he also has some silver painted in the things on these things here with some red here. On both sides. That's painted on the things. <laughs> but but these will become his. Will those become his arms? N no, no, his shoulders in robot mode. Hmm. Okay. Awesome possum. And he does come with some accessories. The first one that he comes with is... Is this... Jetpack thing here. That you can attach to him on the truck mode and that is on these three holes and these three pegs okay. here. You see that that just looks crazy. But you know I don't in the cartoon did he have that on his back in truck mode? Just curious. No no. Okay. He, he didn't have this okay. attached to the back of him in vehicle mode in the cartoon. Okay. But he does also mm -hmm. come with these two m missiles here that you can clip onto the side. The sides using these clips here. And it, yeah, mm -hmm. the, these are the only pl place that you can attach these missiles to in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, and maybe his hammer can go like right there. <laughs> He's got a big hammer. And or smashing stuff. And he yeah. does come with a hammer. And this is mm -hmm. called the, the, the Forge of Solus Prime. The Forge of Solus Prime. Because this is Solus's Prime's weapon here. Oh. That Ultra Magnus uses. Okay. And where does it store? 
Okay. The, the hammer here does have a hull here that attaches to this peg here, but it does not have any room because these things here get in the way. But if these were to fold in, I bet you it would be enough room. But they don't fold in, so that's not an option. Hmm. They don't fold in. And I think you, yes. I think you can also flip out these wings also. And to flip them out, you just bring these up and bring them down. So they look like this. Yeah. And you have like like a, fl a flying truck. A flying truck. Why not? We had a flying car. Why not a flying eighteen wheeler? Yeah. And it does have some more clip points here that you can still attach the missiles to here. So this way he's a flying truck of to be reckoned with. No, I don't know. It, that that just that's why I was asking in the in the cartoon he never did appear with that right in truck mode. They just kind of left it off until he transformed into robot mode. I'm assuming he he, he didn't use a jetpack in the cartoon. Well, why did they give him one? This I don't know. Okay, anyway, go ahead. But I know he did use he did use this in the cartoon. That looks like a Thor hammer. It does. It kind of looks like a Thor hammer. <clears throat> oh, and and for the forge here, the, the only paint apps that it has is is just the silver paint on the hammer part here not, not the handle here and, and that's basically it for it getting on to Ultra Magnus the what 14th version of them no <laughs> I would later on we'll have to do a comparison and get all the Ultra Magnuses that we have so we can see exactly which ones do we have from G1 all the way up to now <clears throat> there's a couple of them but you'd have to keep me straight on which one's which like I said all I know is about G1 Ultra Magnus my guy okay go ahead So, I think that's about it for the feel commode. So, let's get on to robot mode. First, I will have to remove this jetpack piece and get it out of the way. And now, let, let's begin. So, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these side pieces here, untap them, and bring them out. And these do tap into this hole right here, into this peg here. Now you're going to come to the back here, untap it, and bring it down. And you do want to flip these down. And then take the roof here and untap it and bring it back. And you do want to untap these side pieces here.
so so that way that that way you can take take these front headlights here and and untap them which will help you untap the, the front grill here it, and it is a bit there we go it is a bit tr tricky to do but once you get the hang of it you're good And now you want to take these front headlights here and bring them down. And then you're going to take these things here and bring them up so they look like this. Now you're going to separate the front part of the truck here and you also want to untap the, the top of the truck here so that way you can take these and and bring them forward so they look like this And you also want to flip out his hands here. And for these things you want to you want to rotate them around so they look like this. Oh, and you also want to take the grill here and flip it around, which will reveal his head. And now you're going to take the, these two things here, which will become his legs, and separate them. And inside here, you want to flip down his feet and rotate them so they're facing to the front now you're gonna come inside what, what was the front window the, the front windshield of the truck and flip out this piece and rotate his arms down so they look like this and now you're going to take the chest and the arms and bring it all the way up until it taps into place. And then you just take his shoulder his shoulder pads here and just and just push them down all the way until they click into place.
and you're all done. <coughs> so now, let me get him all straightened out. Yeah. That's it. I've seen better. I've seen definitely better Ultra Magnuses. That's. It's. I don't know. He just doesn't look. Are, are you trying to say? I don't like. I tell you what. I don't like. I tell you what. I don't. What. What. I. I wish all this wasn't that big. I think that that takes away from him. I, I think that there's a lot of kibble here on both arms that just goes straight up. It, it, see, he doesn't look. He doesn't look bulky or menacing. He just looks uh, kind of puny. I don't. I, I just don't know. He just doesn't. But but this is accurate to him from the. Transformers Prime cartoon because he had like this <clears throat> sh shoulder pads. And they go straight up? They don't, I mean, that's, that's crazy. I just don't, I just, he doesn't, even his face, it just does not look like even remotely to an Ultra Magnus of today. He just, he doesn't, he looks like something else. I don't know, that's, <clears throat> they call him Ultra Magnus and, and I'm not saying he's not. I'm saying I've definitely seen better versions of him. And I just don't like, this design don't do nothing. It don't do nothing. My, my G1 is more intimidating than this one here. It, it, it's it, he just doesn't say leader to me at all. He, he just seems I don't know. <coughs> I've definitely seen better versions. This is not one of the styles I like of Ultra Magnus. But but, but again, he, that's just my opinion. Okay, but, go. but he does clean up really well on on the back. And my, my thoughts of this Ultra Magnus, I, I, I actually think it, it looks really like, yeah, I, I, I actually think it looks really Good. I mean, yeah, it, it is a totally different Ultra Magnus because th things are going to ch change. Well, you're right. You're, you're right. I'm not going to disagree with that. You know, maybe this is just somebody else's sculpted coming up with the Ultra Magnus. <laughs> to me, the Ultra Magnus is... He's, he's bigger, he's more intimidating, he, he definitely screams leader, this one here screams more like, uh, look at me, I'm a soldier, and that's all I am, that, that's, that's what, that's the impression I get from him, it's like, here I am, I don't know what to do, I'm just here, I don't know. But he does have the light blue Autobots, oh. The light blue Autobot symbol here, which was the the same light blue Autobot symbol like it was in truck mode, which was on the front here. Now I don't know because I really didn't see that much of the cartoon with him in it, so I don't know what. He may be an excellent leader or, you know, I'm just talking way out of line because I've never seen really the cartoon with him in it. So, therefore, I don't know. This is my first time actually seeing him like this. 
and I'm not used to seeing him like this. So that's why my my I'm harsh on it because to me that just does not look like Ultra Magnus at all. But I mean, he comes from the the cartoon. What cartoon? Transformers Prime. <clears throat> See, I've never really watched it. I only seen bits and parts. Never really watched the whole series from one end to the other. So therefore. I don't know what I'm really talking about. <laughs> I just know what I I just know what the G1 Ultra Magnus looks like compared to this one. And I'll be right back. Keep on going. the robot mode here like, like I said to me it looks ver very n nice looking and, and and it looks like how he does in the c cartoon but, but my only problem with it is I wish some of this lighter blue was a was a more d darker blue because he does have some like the darker blue on him like on his elbows here and of course his shoulder pads here and he does have a lot of gray on him to help break up a lot of the blue and he does have have some d darker blue here and some red paint on his legs here and, and his face here does have some silver paint on the face and the antennas and the head crest does have some red and more of that darker blue and and I don't know if his eyes are painted in I'm gonna try and get a closer look um oh oh yeah I think they are think they are because you can see right there they are painted in and that, that's pretty much it to me he looks like a really cool ultra magnus and for articulation his head is on a ball joint but it is a bit li limited due to the way his head is shaved so it, it only like swivels Yeah, it only swivels. But he does have ball jointed shoulders. But but these shoulder pads do get in the way a, a little bit. 
and he does have bicep swivels, elbow, ball joint at the legs, thigh swivel, knee, and a ball joint at the feet. And you can also use that transformation joint to give him a wider ankle pivot. And that's it. And for his accessories, you can, of course, have him hold the forge in both of his hands. And for these missiles here, there is a couple of options you can do with these in robot mode besides attaching them to the jetpack that I am about to show you. And that is, you can attach these to these clips here. So you can have them like this. Or you can also insert them into these holes here. And what you can do is you can bring these forward and you can have them like this. And to fire them, they are pressure launched. So you, to fire them, you have to push behind the missiles, which is right here, to fire them out. And as for the jetpack here, you will have to fold out the wings. And you do want to flip up this blue piece. Because the way this attaches is these two tabs here are going to go into those holes right there. So you can have it like this. And get his hammer in. And now he's like ready for battle. Although, but like I said in the cartoon, he did not have a jetpack in the cartoon. Or these m missiles on his shoulders. He just had the forge of Solus Prime in the cartoon. Uh, okay, now we may have to scoot the camera back some, but I want to do a size comparison. And I just want to, y'all let us know which one looks better. Because I do have a size comparison here now. I, of course, I'm, I'm, I like, what I like is the G1. Let's see how much bigger he is. Yes. This is G1 Ultra Magnus right here. The, the G1 towers above the Transformers Prime one. And my G1 just looks more filled out, hulked out, bulked out. Uh, he just has a couple missiles and a hammer and a jetpack. Mine's got a two sided gun and it's got rocket launchers on the side and he's got big old hands that'll punches lights out you know I just <sighs> I just like my brick now like I said he has a lot more articulation 
than what G1 does. But in a scrap, I bet you I can beat him. Because he just looks... Let us know in the comments which one do you like and which one do you think looks better. Like I said, he has better articulation. But mine's more hulked out. And that's G1. This is today's. Right. Now, there's one thing, you know, they they pretty much kept the missile concept the same. Where that missile can shoot off. These missiles at one point right there were spring loaded, but the springs wore out. <clears throat> I don't remember if, I think that there was one that was spring loaded and the other one, the spring didn't work that good at all. Now they both just don't work, but anyway. Where these are more finger friction. That they're pressure wise. Okay, which, with your finger, that's the way that these come out. These actually have a tab that you push a button and they shoot out. A spring loaded tensioner. So, I'm going to take my G1 back and we'll put that Ultra Magnus back in the spotlight. And let us know down below in the, in the comments and uh, which one do y'all think looks better? The G1 or him? So, final thoughts. My, my final thoughts for this figure. His truck mode looks great, but my only problem with it and, and my dad also had a problem with it, is his, his shoulder pads just, just protrude out from the, the back, where I wish that they would do something to t tuck them in. More, so it's, yeah, more to the cab. So it's a more cleaner look. Yeah. And the robot mode, to me, looks really gr great. But my, my only, like, issue with it is I wish that, that, that the blue plastic on both the robot mode and in truck mode is a more d darker blue. Because... Mm -hmm. If you've seen the, the Transformers Prime show, he had a more d darker blue c color to him in both robot mode and in truck mode. Okay. And your <clears throat> final thoughts? <sighs> My final thoughts. I still like him. But anyway, my final thoughts. He's alright. He's not my G1. But I love my G1. Uh, <clears throat> he's got good articulation. He has good articulation, but that's about all I can give him. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give him a 4. Because <clears throat> I just really don't care for them that much and I really don't like saying bad things about Transformers but this one he don't do nothing for me he don't I don't see the only the resemblance I see in him compared to the G1 or the shoulder cannons and I really don't even like the way that those operate that, that those look it just nope don't do nothing for me sorry I give it a four He's right, that's just my opinion. Of, of this figure. So, which Colton, Colton likes it. He's, he's, he likes it more than me. Me, I... I've seen better. That's not better. <laughs> it's, 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 
That's not even good. But no, let me start. Go ahead. Finish it off. So, I think that's about it. So, there you have it. Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Voyager Class, Ultra Magnus. And if you like this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.